Capricorn, how you doing? So I keep hearing sex lies and videotapes. So is someone making a sex tape or recording of something and recording? Recording, red means recording, Jeremy, Jer Jeremy, uh, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, but sex lies and videotapes. So is there a video, making a video or a sex tape or lying on a tape or a video? Don't know, but I keep hearing it for you just as I was about to start your reading. I just kept hearing sex lies and videotapes. So <laughs> I don't know. Are you making a sex tape or something like that? Or is there red tape? So is it a crime scene? Like something to do around crime, like there's a crime scene and there's red tape all through it. What's that normal term when there's so much red tape that I can't seem to get through it? Like there's so much red tape, okay, or so many recordings or something like that. But like I'm making a loop or a loop station or someone that's into mixing and mastering. Don't forget though, or the master of none, but you can, um, you can, or going for a master's degree or something like that, Capricorn. Uh, but don't forget you can watch this as a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Life Path 6 if you're following me in numerology. So it can be the same energy if you're a Gemini and you're watching it from the aspect of any placement anywhere. If I say place, you say one, two, three, could be a Pisces involved. Um, but meaning like they're both major Arcana 6s. So. Um, but yeah, some of it's around red tape, taping, looping tapes, like a bit like Pink Floyd, you know, putting a tape together and then looping it and then looping it again and looping it. And just making loads of different loops, or Lulu, or Loopy, or Loopy Snooker Peanuts. Are we someone that plays snooker, or Paul, or Pucci, or Piscean? Um, but tapes, red tape, crime scene. Well, I have been doing a lot of channeling for crime scenes because I just did a load of paperwork for crime scenes when I do the um, when I do the channeling for uh, deceased loved ones. There's been a lot of crime scene tapes where being shot three times and we came up with names and stuff if you haven't seen this and you're new you can go onto the live sections here where we was like going up with people that got shot and whatnot doing crime scene investigations but something like channeling it okay um so yeah like i said i mean i don't have capricorn in my chart but i do six of gemini three times so it you know it can be this sort of stuff right crime scene investigation uh and all of that kind of stuff like red tape uh analyzing stuff um, but anyway, so let's see, let's see, um, Capricorn, what have they got coming up for the month of, hey June, for June, Capricorn, what have you got coming up for June, um, so yeah, uh, easy come, easy go, shall I stay, shall I go, shall I leave, or what, so is this your love life, someone that's walking away from an opportunity, or going towards another one here? Okay, but it's definitely going towards something. It's normally Aquarian or Leo energy. Uh, an eight, going towards the star. Uh, let's see, tonight, Matthew, Kelly, Keely, Kaylee, Kylie, Casey. Um, someone from Australia, Kylie, Minogue. Uh, let's see, um, Capricorn, what have they got coming up for June? Um, oh dear, so this is the lying energy that came up in court. I think this came up in one of your readings, like not telling the truth. Not around a Pisces, but like I'm not telling the truth. Because this is either truth or lies. In reverse, it's lying. So it's a life path to or Libra, possible. Don't want everybody to jump down my throat. But there's an energy of like, I'm going to keep this to myself and not tell the truth. I'm going to lie about it here. Okay, I'm going to ignore it and just lie. So if you guys are going to court or you're doing anything around like, you know, having to take an ex-husband or a wife to court, this would be like all the things that are being fed back into the system. Like I'm going to feed back loads of information. <laughs> here we go again. But I'm going to feed back loads of information here to the court. And then I don't know what's being said by the other person because it's in the vault of the court. Okay. So it's kind of like being caught red handed because it is red. So I've been caught red handed. Okay. Or red riding hood or silver. You're right, silver. But like I've been caught red handed and I don't know what's been handed in. Meaning that someone's been giving evidence in or Evie or Evie or DV or Devi. But like I've been handing in evidence that is unfair because it's lying here. So this is feeding back information to the court system or to a person here, feeding it back. But this energy is keeping it to themselves and not admitting because it's like having to stand up in court 
or being caught, called out or caught out, but this is lying about it, covering up the truth in reverse. Okay. Um, and I think one of your readings actually come up with someone lying in court or something here. Um, let's see. Because it's second-hand information. It because it, it one of the is come up as I think one of the divine feminines was um, something something and um, Chinese whispers here. So it's like going towards this energy, saying to this energy, but it's causing conflict because it's lying. Okay. Because it's like from one side to the other side. Okay, it's not fair. Okay. Or because this would also be that there is an affair, like if you were married or you were getting divorced, it means that someone would be in like a a polygamy polygamy type sort of situation of something going on that someone doesn't know about. Okay, or you do know about it and you're seeing it as extremely unfair, because yeah. that would definitely be someone having an affair. Okay. Because that would be more than likely either divorced or getting divorced, but moved on with my life. And the other person is in it as well. Okay, let's see. Um, Capricorn, what's going on with Capricorn, please, through June. Um, so you've got two women, there you go. So it can be a same-sex relationship for a lot of you here. Could be going on at work. There is a relationship here. Now, if you have been divorced in the past... This came up in another reading. I don't know which one it was, but it seems very similar. I think it was in one of the Divine Feminine or Masculine readings. I can't remember. Or Ember or Amber. Okay, or Emma. But like this here is where if you've been divorced or separated in the past, this is the other woman, okay, that the your ex is with because you have family together and you have kids. So this woman's always going to be involved in the family with the child because the ex would always be contacting the children. This would be having to go to social services. Okay. Because I can't see my ex. I don't want to see my ex because it's been controlling and everything else. So the kids come over to social services. Okay. The woman comes over to pick the child up. Okay. And then you leave or the other person leaves. They leave with the child Okay, they bring the child back to social services here, and then you come, they go, they go, you come, pick up the child, and then you go back to the reading, okay? That would be, I don't know how, what you guys call it in different countries, that's the reason why I've explained it like that. It's because you can't see the ex, you don't want to talk to them or see them. This is also a lawyer or a solicitor that's lying, like if you've, uh, or a, um, I don't know, someone that does tax or has a, their own company or business or as a boss, okay, which means that your boss is lying, okay, to the, like you as a client, right? If you work with someone here and you work for this place, this person here is lying, okay? So your boss, if you're working for someone, your boss is lying to you here. OK, because it's distributing things out to other people that are not fair, meaning I work for a company. OK, and the boss hides how much money that they give people, meaning I'm giving you a little bit, but I'm giving you more. OK, you deserve more. You deserve less. I'm going to give you less attention and you more attention or I'm going to pay you and give you a pay rise, but not you. And then people don't know how much people are actually getting paid. So you all work for the same company, but some people are being trapped with, um, like, you know, you all do the same work. Someone works harder, but they get paid less. And someone works uh, less, but they get paid more. That's more or less, okay? So for a lot of you, you might see this unfair that you're working somewhere that's lying and not paying you enough here, okay? Because this is the boss energy here. Justice in reverse, because it's the major arcana. But it does represent a company. So if you're from Britain, like Tesco's, okay, or Morrison's, or whatnot, like a huge company, okay, and that would be where, like, because you clock in here, to, like, this is like, you know, I have to clock in and earn a certain amount of money and do so many hours. Okay, so it's a business. But some of you, your boss is lying, 
Now, if you are like, because this is like favoritism is also what I'm picking up, like favoritism. So if you're wit or autism or something, autistic or ill autism, okay, some of you, this might be like a hospital or a doctor's and you can't get any fucking answers. Like you can't get a direct answer out of this person because everything that they say is lying. So I'm not saying that it's all Libra. No, don't have to be. But I'm just saying that they can't get a direct answer from the court or from a hospital or from the doctors. Like it's just palming you off. I can't get what I want. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. So it's a little bit like, okay, I go to the doctors. I've got a problem. What's your problem? Yeah, I, I'm just going to lie and just say, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> right. A little bit like that. So some of you might actually be working like you actually work with someone that you're in a relationship with. And some of you, it's the same sex one. OK. Now, if you are in a circumstance where you're working around someone, but this woman here is also looking at someone else. This is like annoying energy that I have to work where you work and do the same thing as you do, but you're eyeing someone else up. Um, and some of you, this is like just having to go to court, and this is the other woman that's involved in it, okay? The baby mama and the father of different marriages. So let's see, anything else coming up for Capricorn for June? So you get Scorpio or Aries energy because of four. Aries, the Emperor is a four. So is Scorpio, a four. Gemini, six. Capricorn, six. Okay. Um, some of you are in a relationship with this person, but there's a lot of hesitating of what to do about it here. Being stuck. Um, this could also be moving as well, like moving home, but this is looking for the sale of a company or Alexa sale or sell, but I'm looking to sell, buy and sell like rent, accommodation, rent and buying and selling. And this is needing to like go to the bank to look for a loan. Like I'm going to go here and look for a loan because it can be a loan shark. Okay. It can be a car salesman. Okay, very good at telling you like what you want to hear, but they're actually just trying to get you to buy something right here. So it can be like a car salesman. You're like, oh, this is great. Everything is brilliant and blah, blah, blah. You really want to buy this. Like this is going to help you out and you, you know, you'll really love it. But it's, it's trying to promote and sell something here, but it's in reverse. So, you know, use your own um, judgment there. Okay, because judgment of justice is actually like in reverse because judgment and justice, they're both twos, okay? Libra, two. Okay, we're 11, but two. Um, like, so some of this could be um, I'm getting a loan because I'm trying to sell my house or my home or my company or business, okay? Or I'm looking for people like, like this is like, I want more people to work for me here. And I'm looking for someone to work for. This would be the energy, but it's in reverse, which means that, well, I'm, I'm going to start you off on a very low wage. Like you're not going to get as much as the other people because you've just started. Okay. Because this is keeping stuff back. Like, because I've got to pick up that this is like someone that does banking, like, you know, like a lot of computers and banking. Um, and this is kind of like um, wages, like distributing wages and stuff like that. Wage packets. Some of you might have less money in your wa wage packet here. Yeah. And then this is also a tax company or a taxi company like that drives children or taxis and stuff like that taxi and then I'm also hearing taxis as well so it'd be like self-employed um, let's see 
Capricorn for June. So five of swords, now it's causing a lot of arguments. There could be signs of like what I have, any of you out there don't worry, but ADHD, attention deficit disorder, okay, or law and order. I keep hearing law and order going to court here. There could be mind games and manipulation that's coming from an ex. But this can either be self-sabotage, but it can also be victimised as someone because they have mental health issues here. See, look, shows you in the card. Attention deficit disorder, depending on which way I put the camera. <sighs> right, but not paying attention. So very important, I have to say this to everybody. Make, because this is mental health also, okay. So it's very important to make sure that when you are in any kind of commitment with anybody, that tarot readers are not doctors. They cannot advise you when it comes to being a doctor, because they're not, okay? So you have to make sure that you go to the hospital or doctors to get tested for mental health. Because if your relationships are extremely dynamic, not saying they are, but if they are, it can be because there isn't a spiritual answer to it. Meaning you've already had it. Someone's told you there's possible signs of mental health. If there is signs of mental health, then people are actually arguing with a person that has mental health. And it could be in the family. Okay, it could be running through your family, meaning your mother, your father, this person, mental health. Okay. Because this can be also, um, justice in reverse can be um, insurance, but we don't call that in Britain. We call it, um, you claim off the government for like mental health, you can actually claim where you're like, I'm too ill to work, like I can't work because I'm mentally ill, I have a mental illness, right? So I find it difficult to work for a company where I can't concentrate. And I can't concentrate when I'm like got too many things to think about. I can't concentrate in one direction, okay? So you can claim where it would be income support, okay? In, well, income support or mental health, like I forget what they call it because I've never been on it, but you can claim from British government if you are unable to work, if you are unable to physically work, you can get... Um, uh, any of you British folk out there, well, my comments are closed now, but... Um, Disability, that's it. Disability allowance. Okay, I'm disabled. This is also someone that drives disabled children. They could have a child as like, I don't know, ADHD or bipolar here. Um, and also like children, their children are suffering from it here. So it could relate to like bullying at school. Like this is not fair at school because I can't concentrate at school. Because this is like the curriculum, okay? Like my child's really suffering through the curriculum of knowing what is right for them and what isn't right for them here. Let's see. Um, Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn through June? So you get the Three of Swords. Yeah, and then yourselves here. Pisces, more than likely your life path three, Capricorn. Mm. It's a toxic situation because where this three is, there's lies here being manipulated and lying. This one's lying, this one's upright, and this one's suffering through what's going on here. I'm the one that's suffering through this, not being spoke of, the lies here. So for some of you, it's involving your children and an ex that you have to keep going to and from this energy here, backwards and forwards, to and from, like going here, picking them up, coming back here, and it winds you up every time you keep going back. Or winds them up every time they keep going back. 
or M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Russell Crowe, Brandon Lee. Um, Capricorn for June. Ten of Pentacles, all to do with money and work. You might be arguing because someone works too much or not enough. Um, it's these two here that are looking at one another. And it's, it's like it works, but it doesn't work. <laughs> it's kind of like on a very moderate scale, or it's a moderator. But like on a very moderate scale. I'm really picking up on a same-sex relationship here at the moment. But I'm definitely picking up something going on in the brain here, like bra a brain tumour or like, bra like I don't know, I could, but I'm definitely hearing brain tumour. Um, mm, what have we got? Okay, so let's do one more card, please. Capricorn, give them one more card, please, for Capricorn. So the tower... Yeah, there's this energy that's driving me nuts here. Or Hazel, or Dean. Um, there's like death by ego here, or death by chocolate. Or someone's got a problem with eating chocolate or stuff like that, but death by chocolate. Don't know what that is. Prada? Pride? Well, that would be same-sex relationship. Too much pride. This always means pride for me. I have too much pride to actually show my face and admit things. Pride standing in my way, stopping my progress because I have too much pride. Raising the bar too much. Could be tax. This is like taxes being like raising the prices of things, being really expensive. And I have too much to lose. Because this can be like the government, like, you know, the government is not treating us very fair because the prices of, like, electricity and, and stuff like that being really expensive. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to go on with the rest of your reading over on, you, over on uh, well, we're on YouTube, on um, Patreon. The Patreon can be found below. All three tiers are still open. So now this is the monthly, so it will go to all three tiers, but the bronze tier is now open again because it is the monthly. That is only two or three dollars. It doesn't cost too much. You get all 12 star signs, all clarified, and then also your numerology if you follow me as well as in astrology and also numerology, okay? Um, meaning that you can watch Gemini even if you don't have Gemini in your chart because six is, okay? Um, but then you get all the answers that will be provided to you below. So it's the bronze, silver, or gold tier. They all have different things at different times. Uh, you can find the link below. If you want to join the joyride and join the button, that is where we go over all things like this. When I go live, it's either tarot readings for people that have joined, and then you get to ask me a question and an answer. Um, and I give you a reading, it's only two or three dollars, and then also I do deceased loved ones, where I've channeled all your loved ones, brother, sister, mother, father, daughter, whichever way around, uh, it's really been working really well, and um, we, we do these, okay, so thanks very much guys, really appreciate it, see you soon.